Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of For the Clarity and Closure, the viewer's comments, where I choose a few of your, your comments from my channel and I answer them. They can be either just comments, critiques, questions, commendations, whatever it is, I'm going to answer your questions and uh, address things and perhaps call some people out to the carpet. So the first one uh, comes from a loyalist contributor known as Ian and he's commenting on the reaction video I did to some of Russell J. Gould's public claims and Ian says I'm at just over 19 minutes in and it seems like Russell said he had the FBI physically assault DWM, David Wynn Miller, and that he kind of felt bad about it. This has me upset at this, quote, postmaster general, end quote. Well, emotional uh, responses to things are, you know, normal for human beings. I found that uh, it's definitely beneficial if one takes the emotion out of it and just looks at the facts and see things for what they are and then allow things like emotions to sort of be a barometer as to how you perceive those facts. It's just one uh, tool, not only, you know, emotion, but also looking at the practicality of it. What evidence do you have? Um, because really, Ian, it's just a story. We don't know if it really happened or not. Um, judging by other things that this man has said, uh, you know, just like um, colon Mark hyphen lowercase k Kishon colon Christopher, you know, I don't really put much value or stock in, in what that man says at all, you know. So, to address what you said, uh, it you phrase it in a way that's a statement but you put question marks after the DWM so I'm going to take it as a question uh, utilizing the honor and the grace and I will say that no that is not what Russell said Russell said that he was assaulting David Whitmiller not the FBI he said the FBI was watching and witnessing so hope that clears that up for you next comment uh, is from the reaction video that I did about Marcus Sean Christopher being kicked off of YouTube. Um, and this individual says, He mislead people whom are searching for help, including myself. Then he says, It's too late and can't help you. All the power he claims to have is simple false. I do get a lot of... Uh, communications like this, a lot of sentiments like this regarding this man, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you're looking at it, I like to look at everything as a learning experience. Everybody, you know, has a choice. You can choose to believe in someone and take them at their word, but when you do that, you run the risk of this happening, and this happens a lot based upon the feedback I get from people who have come from this man or been involved with him of late in the past uh, few years. Next comment is from the same video and this individual says he teaches BS and begs for money. He uses the grammar as a front to harvest the sheep. Good one. Well, first of all, I would like to remind everyone that if you attempt to leave a comment or something, there is a function that will appear if you click on it that shows you the terms and conditions of the comment field. And I do ask that you don't use curse words or foul language. Kind of, you know, keep it uh, clean for the children. You know, I mean. I like to observe etiquette and be kind, courteous, polite, so on and so forth, and, and not use 
that type of language. There are plenty of other places on the internet to use that language, and this just isn't a place where it's welcome. I mean, this isn't too bad of a word, but I just thought I'd, I'd mention that. Um, as far as him using the grammar as a front, he doesn't use the grammar. He, he shows no evidence that he knows the grammar. He has demonstrated no grammar performances. So, I think perhaps what this individual is conveying is that perhaps this man is using the concept as sort of uh, to bait the hook, to draw people in so that he can get some money. But he certainly doesn't use the grammar. If you mean correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, definitely not. Next comment, uh, this individual says, the grammar rocks, but if you know the secrets of the courts, which are really banks and corporations, fictitious. I think that's a misspelling. Trust law, you get usury suit. I think that's another typo. Reply your, another misspelling a lawful American and are the trustee of your fictitious person, the scumbag govt created at birth. Philosophy of the language, the why. All right, uh, spelling aside, you're a lawful American. I mean, what, what does that mean? Are you a lawful North American? Central American, a South American? Because if that's the case, you know, I mean, Canadians can be Americans, Brazilians can be Americans, Mexicans can be Americans. It's all fiction. And knowing the secrets of the courts, I mean, that might help you, you know, if you're going to use fiction against fiction, but with correct sentence structure, you can pretty much take all those secrets and everything you know and just chuck it out the window because it's not necessary when you know the grammar when you know the correct grammar not necessary at all those courts aren't necessary if you know the grammar and Sean if you ever want to learn the grammar you know where to find me next comment uh, this individual is react is uh, commenting on the Russell video about his public claims it says wow the ignorance and void facts in your videos are mind-boggling that's pretty funny uh, I get comments like this all the time of course I don't publish them because the individuals always hide behind a nom de guerre jaywalk 9000 they always say things like this but they never give evidence they never give proof they never say specifically what it is uh, that's not correct in, in, in my videos. I mean, because if you're going to say that I'm ignorant, well then, educate me. Cultivate my knowledge. Show me what it is. Give me some learning, darn it. <laughs> and of course, they show no evidence of knowing the grammar, and I'll bet. I will bet. I would bet the house that this individual has no clue about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and they won't ever step onto the geometric level playing field. They won't ever contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And they won't ever do a video consult with me and look at me face to face and uh, share their gripes. It just won't happen. They love to hide behind non beguers and, and go through the internet comment fields. What do they call those? The uh, keyboard warriors next one comes from the member Peter Dean uh, from the video about the verbs that I did great stuff Jason you make it so clear and easy to comprehend much appreciated thank you very much Peter I appreciate it uh, Peter's definitely one of my most dedicated students and I appreciate uh, the sentiment Thank you. 
This one comes from uh, the uh, Mark Show video, uh, Christopher reaction video again. It says, uh, thanks for the heads up. I was a student for one season, soon saw the seminar was full of fluff. He constantly claimed everything he said was factual, yet rarely backed it up. His main source was Wikipedia, and he would hover over one point for too long whilst claiming to share a wealth of information. For someone that was teaching communication and clarity, I found him to be quite confusing and unable to clearly get his point across. His claim to control the Navy <laughs> and also medias like YouTube via his authority were laughable. Well, it is laughable because YouTube jettisoned him. His claim, uh, it seemed as if he were, he was harvesting money by just merely introducing a subject he does not have much clarity in. Neither do I, but I'm not charging 25 plus pounds for a couple of weeks of fluffy seminars. Almost want to ask for a refund, but I don't want to suffer with communicating with him. Glad I got that off my chest. Sorry, but the music was a bit loud during that intro and outro. Thanks. Well, definitely, uh, colon Husky, if that's your correct name. Um, I'll take that into consideration. I appreciate that. Uh, be more cognizant and aware of the volume of the music so that you can hear the voice and there's no uh, no confusion there. And, you know, again, this is another very common sentiment that is shared with me from people that come from that neck of the woods. Next comment comes from someone named Buttery Gold. Who is the correct Postmaster General? And then I responded, is that position important to you? Are you in the military? And then they said, I'm not in the military. And then I said, then why does the military title of general matter to you out of curiosity? I'm just curious, you know, because I mean, uh, if you're not in the military, why would it matter to you who the Postmaster General is? Um, I mean, I'm just curious doesn't matter to me has no effect on me I voided all contracts with military so that doesn't even apply to someone like me David Lee something or other said just wanted to say Mark Kishon Christopher oh David sorry but you misspelled his name uh, the Kishon has to have a lowercase k said and then he puts in parentheses, not to double space, on one video he made. Thank you, love from Vegas, Nevada, US, PS, no, no, like DD, he he. Thank you, son. What about authority? No authority. David, I think that you misspelled authority there. Well, I know you did. It's AU, and AU is authority, actually, literally. Um, and. Mark said not to double space, so I mean, I guess if you value what Mark says, then I guess you'll take that to heart. And if you don't, then you can just chuck it in the wastebasket with the rest of the trash. Final comment comes from David Miller. Great explanation for the mechanics of the intentions of Russell, in quotations, is with means of fabrication in elementary governments by way of contrasting his words from his story from his opinion. Granted, if it really is all just a broadcast of ignorance and conjecture, purposefully contorting the viewer's mental construct, thus allowing for an easier target, for a easier target, for the controlling of disseminating information, whether it be true or false. I mean, to claim anything such as the titles he has, I mean, okay, I get it, he's smart. That's an assumption on your part, just saying. But the fact of the matter is, this is all based around correct sentence structure. Maybe. So how can anyone claim authority over something such as this? It's a damn nation. Anyways, thanks, great video. Thank you, Spencer. Appreciate it. And that about does it. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, this broadcast. Again, if you want to do workshops, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. 
Uh, other than that, there are over 400 videos on this channel you can study to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Nothing is classified. Nothing is hidden. It's all right here. Free to you. You can also apply for, uh, I mean, you can also join this channel. There are two tiers of memberships. You can go check that out if you click the join button. And uh, thanks again for viewing, and we'll see you next week.